Ladies and gentlemen, John Forsyth. I don't know who it was that said females were comprised of sugar and spice and everything nice. Aaron, your ladies are more like leather and lace and a slap in your face. <laughs> in Dynasty, I had the pleasure of working with two actresses who brought that kind of power and intensity to their roles every week. Ladies and gentlemen, Linda Evans. When I took the role of Crystal, I knew it was going to be sheer glamour. I got to live out my fantasies, wearing those beautiful Nolan Miller gowns, love scenes with the elegant and charming Blake Carrington, and beating up his ex-wife. Imagine, mud fights and diamonds and high heels. Aaron, it was never dull. And I wouldn't have traded one minute of it. It was a magical nine years that changed my life forever. And by the way, Aaron, on behalf of all the actresses who have sore muscles and skin knees, thanks to you, we're no longer the weaker sex. And now please welcome Joan Collins. Dearest Aaron, I know just how much everyone loved those fight scenes between Linda and myself on Dynasty, and no one loved them more than you, right? But no one hated them more than I did. As I always said, Alexis uses her tongue, not her fists, to win her battles. But the truth is, Aaron, for you, I'd go through it all over again. Just name the day, and I'll be there. Thank you, Linda and Joan. You know, the female characters in Aaron's spelling shows are famous for feuds and rivalries, but one that chips it down they handle the really tough situation like adults. Now, what is that expression, that adult expression that applies here? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ladies, get ready to rumble. I just hope you're happy with Peter. That slime ball doesn't care about anyone but himself, but I guess that makes you ideally suited to each other. Well, I guess that's better than being ideally suited to nobody like you. <laughs> Retract this or I'll cram it down your throat. Will you? I'm not finished. Hang on. 